The Games are also 11 days of Birmingham welcoming the world, and the festival sites are an amazing way to do that, for free, in people's own backyards. It's also a great moment to bring sport and culture together, and that's something that comes from integrating into the festival, so we can really celebrate every element of Birmingham. Victoria Square is the cultural heart of the city, so we really focused on our welcome. A beautiful artwork was painted on the square to really show off what's already here. There was a fantastic stage at the fountain, showing local artists, and we really encourage people to relax, celebrate, appreciate the city and the talent in the city. Smithfield was a chance to do something really different. It's a huge development plot in the middle of the city, so it was an opportunity to really go to town with some big names and some big collaborations. It was a festival of festivals, working with a different cultural organisation in the city every night, from Simmer Down to Maid Festival. It really was the place to be every evening. The neighbourhood festival sites were something which had never been done before at the Games. It was an opportunity to celebrate in your own backyard, especially for communities which might not otherwise be fully represented. It came about after a long period of audience research, where we were looking at where people weren't served well culturally and where the sites were really needed. We also really wanted an even spread around the city. We looked at opportunities where people could play sports, go climbing, go boating, really get active and show off some of the great facilities, as well as showing off some of the great talent. We were delighted that one of these neighbourhood sites was at Touch Base Pairs, working with Sense in order to create an environment where people with multiple support needs could engage more fully with the games. At every neighbourhood site, we worked with a local neighbourhood producer. These were often people who didn't call themselves producers, they were community organisers or local activists. All had a connection or affinity to that area, and alongside their work leading the programme and engagement at that location, they've also all been on a development programme with us to hone their skills. The aim being that afterwards, they can be the ones taking up the mantle. It was so important that each site was for everyone and that everyone felt welcome, no matter what their route into these sites. And in the first instance, it was fun. It was an amazing celebration. But we also didn't shy away from putting on really substantial artworks too, which really got people thinking and talking. We hoped that through these sites, people could go a little bit deeper and visit multiple times, all helping them to get closer to where they live through celebration. And ultimately, through this celebration, we want to get people to know their city better and celebrate together as a community.